Want to make sure you never miss a Kindly Kian video again? Be sure to subscribe and hit that bell to turn on notifications. Go big or go home. Let's go to 100. Yeah, see, okay, that's when things get a little bit out of hand. I'm gonna go into ghost mode. You see, all the items just got, like, launched out of the house. Hello, everybody, I am Kindly Kian, and welcome back to Hello Neighbor. Regular old Hello Neighbor, who would have thought? Well, today, we're not playing so regular of Hello Neighbor. We're still playing around with a mod that looks like a lot of fun. Now, this is a mod specifically for the neighbor, and I'm actually really excited to check this out because I don't know exactly what it looks like, but this is another mod by VGN that turns the neighbor into Spider-Man. How much more could you ask for, honestly? I mean, a Spider-Man neighbor, that sounds pretty sweet. So we've got three different versions. I don't know how different they all are, but let's start out with just regular BP Spider-Man. And we're just gonna play act one. I hope this works. It's been a while since I've actually played like in regular Hello Neighbor. Normally we're playing in the mod kit, but now we're playing in the actual game. So hopefully everything works the way that we want it to. This is one of the greatest parts though. So if it works, as soon as we get to this cutscene where the neighbor kind of like jumps through the window, the neighbor is gonna be the mod that we applied, but then it like goes back and it's not him anymore. So <laughs> it's super weird. I don't quite understand it, but I'm excited about this. Oh, okay, noises, screaming. Yes, Nikki is concerned. He's checking things out. He's gonna go over to the window, right? He's in... Okay, regular neighbor. That's... I don't know if that means that it didn't work. I hope it... I hope it doesn't mean that. He seems concerned, right? Nikki's gonna go right up to the window. And then that's when the neighbor sees us and jumps after us. Here we go. This is it. That... No! No, you're... You're... You're regular neighbor. You're just... Your regular boring neighbor who locks someone in the wh wh what? <laughs> he instantly changed into Spider-Man. It's amazing how fast he put on that costume. Okay, I was not expecting that. I thought that it just wasn't working. I honestly thought it was broken. Clearly it was not broken. It's just the cutscenes are super weird. Like sometimes they use the the model of the neighbor from the game and then other times they use like a cutscene engine. I have no idea, but that Spider-Man looks super awesome. Am I losing my mind? Has there always been a hill over here with like a house perched on top? This feels like it's not real. What is this? I don't feel like this was always a hillside. I can go up it. What in the world? They changed this. Has it really been that long since I've played this game? <laughs> oh my gosh. I want to go up there. And actually, we can. See, I have the mod kit installed that Greenhouse M13 made that allows us to use ghost mode. What the heck? This is weird. I guess they did all this so that it just kind of like blocks off seeing the rest of the town. Seems like a very strange spot for a hill. Also, this house is floating. Just, you know, just saying. No floating houses in my neighborhood. This house is like built at an angle. That doesn't seem safe. This is so weird. I did not realize that this had been added to the game. It was added to the game, right? Like, I'm not actually losing my mind. Please, you guys, don't let this mean that I am losing my mind. I can't handle that right now. I need my mind. I need it. I think all of this is new. Like, the hill with the houses on it. I think. I hope. I pray. Otherwise, I am actually a crazy person, and you're watching me get crazier by the minute and I apologize but let's go check out spider-man let's go say hello I mean friendly neighborhood spider-man he's got to be nice right spider-man spider-man why are you you're watching Russian television that's that's quite eclectic of you I'm surprised where are you hey let's turn this off it's too loud you can't leave the TV just running spider-man you're wasting electricity where are you spider-man are you in the bathroom <gasps> spider-man hey buddy you, you, oh you're gonna give me a hug that was not a hug that was definitely not a hug. Why would you be mean? I thought we were friends, Spider-Man. I mean, I guess I understand why he was a little upset. I literally just walked in on him in the bathroom. Like, that's kind of rude. Hey, 
What are you doing? Hey, hey, you look really cool. I'm just, I just wanted to let you know that you look super cool. Your eyes are like glowing. That's awesome. Spider-Man, you're not so friendly. Spider-Man's having a bad day. He's a little grumpy today, I think. I think that's the problem. Are you in here? Yeah, just washing your hands. Good. You don't even take off the Spidey gloves. Just wash the outside of your, of your costume. Sure, that makes perfect sense. I mean, it does. If you never took them off, then you should wash them, right? Makes sense. I'm just surprised that he never takes off his Spidey gloves. That's what I'm saying. I'm also surprised at how quickly the neighbor dressed into Spider-Man. So, so this is proof, finally. We finally have proof that the neighbor is Spider-Man. He had a tough day. If fighting crime, kicking, you know, all kinds of criminals' butts. He's had a rough one. Hey, hello. Oh, okay, jumping through windows. Sure, why not? Kind of a crazy person. You don't, don't do that. Don't be grumpy. Be a nice Spider-Man. So let's go back, let's quit. Let's go to the main menu and uh, let's check out Spider-Man number two. That was his official name, right? BP Spider-Man underscore two. Let's go. Show me the new Spider-Man. Spider-Man 2.0, let's do this. Where are you at, Spider-Man? I hope it's actually different. Oh my gosh, it is different. And it is, I, I don't know what this costume is called. I assume that this is taken from the new Spider-Man game, or at least this idea. I know that new PS4 Spider-Man game, he's got like a lot of different costumes. I don't know what they're called, but this is really cool looking. Black and white Spider-Man. Here, have a hat. No, not a hat holder, an actual hat. Or I'll just, yeah, kick it. Kick it. Very impressive using your spidey senses to let that thing get thrown at your back and not even react to it. You'd think he'd be a little bit more responsive. He is a superhero after all. I'm gonna throw a trash can at him. Here, have a trash can, super fast. Nope, nope, he, spidey senses right there. Close the door, he knew it was coming. He used those amazing abilities of his and uh, close the door on the trash can before it hit him. Unbelievable, amazing skills. The amazing Spider-Man. That's why he's got the name. Oh, are you going to sleep? Go to sleep. Okay. <gasps> no. Oh, I just obliterated him. Has that always worked that way? Did you? Am... Okay. It's like I'm playing a brand new game, guys. I, I don't understand why I haven't known about these things, but if you do a super throw at the neighbor, it knocks him over. Are you serious? Neighbor. I'm sorry, did you see that? He, he rubbed his butt. He hurt his butt when he fell down. This is so weird. How have I not known this? Hey, I'm gonna knock you over again. <laughs> I like how I hit him in the back and he falls backwards. Science, right there. Hey, no, no, you stop. You're, no, you're not allowed to go any further. That's where you stop, Spider-Man. That is the edge of your boundary. All right, we still have one more Spider-Man to check out though. Let's quit out of here. Let's go back to the main menu. And let's see Spider-Man 3.0. Oh my gosh. Saving the best for last. I actually have no idea what this looks like. So let's see. Spider neighbor, spider neighbor has lots of costumes of Spider-Man. He dresses up in black and green. What is that? I don't mean to be mean, but those colors aren't very, I don't know about that. That was my song. That's how it ends. It ends on a high note. I don't know about that. Black and green. I mean, I guess it looks pretty cool. I just don't, I don't know what he exactly is. Is this like Venom? Is this supposed to be Venom? I think Venom is black and white, isn't he? And, and far scarier. Also, I, I gotta say like the coloring in his pants right there, make it look like he kind of wet himself. You need to change that costume there, neighbor, Spider-Man. You, you uh, had a little accident, buddy. You get what I'm saying? Get what I'm saying here. I'll, I'll turn him around again so that we can we can really investigate this situation. <laughs> okay, I walked right into him. No, this is not where I want to be. But actually, let's just see. No, that's regular neighbor. Okay, he's not wearing a Spider-Man suit, but we know he's Spider-Man. Are you Spider-Man over here? Nope, still not Spider-Man. Okay, very disappointed. That's the origin story of how the neighbor became Spider-Man. See, he wasn't Spider-Man yet until after his family died. And then he wanted revenge and became a superhero. It makes perfect sense. Trust me, just wait. The new Spider-Man movie, it's gonna explain the whole thing. I'm giving away the whole plot of the new Spider-Man movie to you guys right now. I don't really like the green Spider-Man. Green Lantern Spider-Man. I'm not digging it. It's not your style. You need to go back to red and blue, all right? And also the 
peeing yourself thing is weird. Let's go back to red and blue Spider-Man, the good old classic. All right, so now that we have classic Spider-Man back in the house, let's go find him, make sure. Yep, there he is. Okay, 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 stop, stop, all right? Just stop. You know what would be cool is if they made it, I, I know this would be like hard to do, but if they made the glue actually like webs, that would be so sweet, right? Cause you get like stuck in the web, you kind of slow down. I guess all you'd really have to do is just change that puddle texture so that it looks like a web instead of just a puddle of white goo. I don't know how to do that though. Again, I'm like, I'm talking like I, I know what I'm doing. I have no idea how to do that. That's why I have to play other people's mods and not make my own mods because I'm dumb. Hey. What? Don't, don't you dare look at me that way with your weird glowing eyes. You have a huge head. You, you, you may ever notice how big his torso is compared to like his legs. He has such skinny legs. Spider-Man is not that jacked. He is not like a super muscular superhero. He's, he's a little bit skinnier. He's not like super, I mean, he is strong, but like that's not his thing. He's, he's agile. He moves around like a ninja. Ninja cat bear, spider. What? Look, see, you see that? Did you see those spider skills? He jumped over that fence like a ninja cat bear spider. Torso is too big. It's, it's too big. So since we do have the mod though, we can get into some weird shenanigans, right? We can change the size of the neighbor. That is definitely one of the things that we can do. We can also spawn like a million items, right? I kind of forget how to do it though. I think it's multi summon part one. And then do you put in the number first? It's like a hundred. We'll do, no, let's just do 10 for now. And then you do BP underscore and we need something to spawn. I think bucket is something that we can spawn. Maybe let's try. That did not work. There's no buckets here. I have a list of items that you can spawn, but I don't know if all of them work. Also, it got really sunny suddenly. You guys can tell that I record my videos early in the morning because the sun was not up when I started this video. And now the sun is up and look how bright it is behind me. Anyways, let's continue. BP underscore chair underscore C. Now I'm just doing a single. Okay, so we can spawn chairs. That's sweet. Here, have an extra chair, buddy. So now let's try the multi summon. So I think it's 10 and then you do BP underscore chair, not chate underscore C. Yes, that did not work. Did I mess something up? Or am I supposed to put the number after the item? BP underscore chair underscore C 10. Is there 10 chairs there? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, there's 10 chairs there. Okay, okay. We're on to something, definitely on to something. So we can do the multi summon shenanigans, but in addition to that, we can also do one of my favorites, which is the neighbor size. So let's do neighbor size five. Let's make a giant sp <laughs> Yes. Oh, I love it. It's so good. Why? No, he's doing the thing where he just jumps. He's just going to continually do that until he runs off of the edge of the world. I'm not even joking. We've done this before. I did this with the Hulk. He kept jumping until he he was at the end of the, the world. No, you need to stop this. You need to stop this madness. Stop. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm going to, I'm going to change him back to regular size. Neighbor size one. Go back to normal. No neighbor, neighbor, neighbor. Stop, stop, stop going that direction. You need to stop this madness. Turn around my friend. No, he's never gonna turn around because now he's like outside of his, his boundary. He doesn't know what to do. All he can do is use his spidey jumping ability. Actually, I kind of want to make him smaller now. Like let's go like 0.5. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. Little tiny Spider-Man. Let's make him even smaller. How about 0.1? Oh, look at him. You know, he's, he's Ant-Man. Oh, he caught me. I didn't think he could catch me. Did, did that reset him? I think it did. <gasps> he's so scary. Oh, look at how fast he is. Tiny Spider-Man. He's the size of a spider, but he still has the strength of many, many, many spiders. Here, have some Chinese food. I'm gonna knock him down. I'm gonna try and knock him over. I missed him. Threw it right over his head. Look at how high he can jump. I'm sure, what? Spidey neighbor. Super, I told you, super spider powers. I'm telling you, this guy is out of control. Let's see if we can get him like into the backyard. That's where I want him to go so that he doesn't start doing that weird jumping thing that he does. So let's see if I can get him back here. I, I can't see him though. Oh my gosh. 
<laughs> he came out of nowhere. <laughs> I don't like I don't like super tiny spider neighbor man. This is too scary. I'm changing back to normal size. There. Normal size. Let's get him back into the backyard. Get him to follow us back here. Did he see us? Yeah, okay. He sees us. Okay, so let's wait for him to get into the backyard. Okay, and now let's change his size back to size five, I think is, is what we want at first. And oh man, he's doing that thing. Why does he do that? What are you doing? You weirdo. Okay, all right, fine. We'll just roll with it. Neighbor size 10. Remember, we have to kind of do this in increments. We can't do it all at once. Otherwise, it gets really, really wonky, even more wonky than it is right now. Also, you may have noticed it's not as bright behind me anymore. That's because I closed the blinds. Well, mostly you can still see like a little ray of sunshine breaking through. Anyways, uh, let's continue making a giant Spider-Man. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love this game. Look at that. That is kind of terrifying. Let's let's go further. Neighbor size. Uh, I think that was 20. So let's go 30. Oh, yeah. That's a real big Spider-Man neighbor. But he's just like looking around. He's like, hmm. Something feels different. How is that that costume stretching with his size? It's incredible. It's an amazing costume. I guess we'll go bigger. Go big or go home. Let's go to 100. Yeah, see, okay, that's when things get a little bit out of hand. I'm gonna go into ghost mode. You see, all the items just got like launched out of the house because Spidey neighbor here decided to clip through the house and just send everything flying through the air. Oh man, what is wrong with your nose? That is a weird looking nose. You got a weird nose, dude. Oh gosh, it's slowing down the game so much though. I'm trying to get a cool shot of this giant <laughs> spider paper. <laughs> what have I done? Let's go a little bit bigger. I think it might get broken if I go too big. And also, actually, now that I think about it, if he touches the, the teleporter thing, like the weird glitching thing, I think it sends him to like behind the school, like behind us. Let's send him to 200 and the game crashed. It's dead. The game is dead. All right, we're back. And uh, yeah, we, we went too far. We went too far with Spider-Man. The world was not ready for that big of a Spider-Man. Spider-Man's gotta stay little, not little, but normal. He's gotta be like human size, not dinosaur size. We're not prepared for this kind of hero. Imagine if Spider-Man was the size of a Tyrannosaurus Rex. He's like fighting crime, like zipping through the city, like destroying entire buildings because he just, he like attaches himself to a building. Like, you know, the way that he like sticks to the side of buildings. Imagine if he swung into the side of a skyscraper and he was the size of a Tyrannosaurus Rex. He just knocked down the whole building. You'd be like, oh shoot, I shouldn't have done that. Causing more trouble than good. So he, he, he's good. He's good at that size. You good, buddy? You good? Sent all the items flying throughout the entire world. There's there's probably items everywhere right now, which is fine. That's fine. But maybe what we can do now is mess around a little bit more with Spider-Man and uh, we'll spawn some items like inside of his house. Is he going to bed? Oh, he's not going to bed. He's just, he's He was literally jumping on the bed. <laughs> he's jumping on the bed. Okay, even Spider-Mans wanna jump on beds every once in a while. So the question is, what do we want to spawn a lot of? Can we spawn the dummies? Ooh, I like the dummies. Let's try summon BP underscore dummy, not with a comma, definitely not with a comma, underscore C. Oh, I like this. We can multi-summon these guys. So let's do a multi-summon right behind the neighbor. We're gonna do this, all right. <laughs> We're gonna bury Spider-Man neighbor in a bunch of dummies. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so it was BP underscore, what was it? Dummy? 
Uh huh. Underscore C. And then let's do a hundred. Yeah, let's do a hundred. I haven't really talked about it, but I actually have a new computer now. It's not like exceptionally more powerful than my old computer. My old computer was fine, but it is definitely more powerful than my old computer. So I'm hoping that with the new computer, some of these weird shenanigans that we get into are a little bit more stable, if that makes sense. And uh, based on this situation, I would say that it's handling it pretty well. We have a hundred dummies burying Spider-Man right now. Should we do a hundred more? I should have saved the command. I forgot about the whole saving command thing. I'm gonna do increments of 50, and then we'll save the command, and then I'll do it. Oh, there you go. There you go, neighbor. Oh my gosh, you are you are going to be very, very stuck for a very long time. I'm gonna summon 50 more of them. Oh, things are bad. Weird things are happening. What? <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, my dear friend, but uh, it had to happen. You give me the power to multi-summon items, and this is what's gonna happen. I'm pretty sure he's never gonna be able to leave that room. Actually, now that I think about it, the last time we did this, we didn't really have the multi-summon ability. We did the whole Rubik's Cube thing. I kind of want to spawn like a billion Rubik's Cubes. Just see how far we can take it with Spider-Man trying to get out of those the dummy cage that we put him in. So I have to remember how to summon the Rubik's Cube. You, you have to know the exact name of the item within the game files of Hello Neighbor. So I think it's BP Rubik's... Is it with a, is it, is it with CKS or is it just KS? I think it was, ugh, see, this is the problem. I'm going to have to go back to my video. Let's see. Let's just see if this works. Oh, that totally works. Okay. So now we can set up a multi summon BP underscore Rubik's cube underscore C. And then let's do a hundred at a time and then add that to our save command. Try it out. Oh my. Oh yeah. Okay. They're, oh my gosh, they're flying everywhere. Should we just, should we just do this a lot? It's like, it's like Rubik's Cube fireworks. It's beautiful. Look at the shadow on, <laughs> look at the shadow on the roof over there. I'm pointing right at it. You <laughs> see all the Rubik's Cubes just exploding out of my body. It's raining Rubik's Cubes, everybody. It's new age confetti. This is what Spider-Man asked for. He wanted it to rain Rubik's Cubes. Oh my gosh. What have I done? I mean, I guess I could I could adjust this and do like a thousand at a time. This my computer. I mean, I get it. It's a new computer, but whoo, here we go. All right. One thousand. It's not crashed. It hasn't crashed yet. When I went too far with the neighbor, it crashed immediately. I got the, the message. It's just it's like stuck right now. It's thinking about it. It's like, should I really do this? Do I do? Do I feel like am I in the mood to spawn a thousand Rubik's cubes in an instant right now? I don't know. I don't know if I'm really feeling it today. Yeah, I don't think the computer's feeling it. At this point, it would have been faster for me to spawn a hundred Rubik's cubes ten times than spawn a thousand all at the same time. But we had to test it. Yeah, I may have crashed the game. It's just not telling me. I think it's pretty stuck. It's it's not looking good. I just can't help myself. I keep breaking Hello Neighbor. I am very, very sorry. Let's get back into the game. So clearly, 1,000 Rubik's Cubes being spawned at the same time is too much. It's too much. But if you get 100 and you spawn them 10 times, you got 1,000 Rubik's Cubes. And that seems to work just fine. It actually didn't save all the all the stuff that I spawned. That's, that's pretty funny. Let's see if there's anything else that we can spawn. Let's go through here real quick. How about a banana? Who doesn't want a good banana? I was thinking, you know, Spider-Man needs his potassium. So let's see if this works. Summon BP underscore banana underscore C. There you go. We got ourselves a banana. So let's spawn a whole bunch of those. I know how to spell banana. I just don't know when to stop. A-N-A-N-A-N-A-N-A-N-A-N-A-N. Okay. I've set up a multi-summon of 100 bananas. Let's go. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It's going to ghost mode. And uh, well, spider neighbor is sleeping right now. So uh, let's let's give him a, a wake up gift. What do you say? How about some bananas for for spider neighbor? You love bananas, don't you? Who doesn't love a thousand bananas in their bedroom? We're about to get caught. Actually, <laughs> he got through the gauntlet of bananas. 
I think that's probably 600 bananas right there, but we could we could make so many more. Oh my. The thing about it though is that you can see how much trouble the game has initially loading those 100 bananas. Like it really struggles when I first spawn them. When I first click, it's like, "Ah, too many bananas." But once they kind of settle down and, and spread out, it seems like it can handle it all right. Listen, Spider-Man neighbor, I'm just looking out for your health. I'm trying to make sure that you're getting enough fruit in your diet, and this is the best way I can think about it. Spawn like 10,000 bananas in your bedroom. You can't get away from them. You will have to eat them. There is no getting around the fact that there are this many bananas covering your bed. Even to go to bed, you're gonna have to eat like 300 bananas. It's good for you. Trust me, it's not good for you. Don't eat 300 bananas in one sitting. You will die. You will explode from banana. Okay, that's enough bananas. I, I think, I think he gets the point. I, I think, maybe? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he understands what's going on here. No, more bananas in his diet. Also, the game is very upset with me. Look at this. <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> Let's see what else we could spawn here real quick. What is a slice? There's something called slice. Let's see. Summon BP underscore slice underscore C. What was that? What was that? Is that like a razor? Or is that a slice of pizza? I gotta, I gotta get back over here so that I can actually see what it is. It's a slice of bread. <laughs> All right, neighbor. I've decided that uh, to make these bananas a little bit more appetizing, you need to turn them into banana sandwiches. So I'm gonna give you some bread here in your kitchen. Oh, bad noises are happening. I don't know what's at why. I, okay, that was that was a little upsetting. All right, I've saved the 100 slices of bread command. Let's. Oh my, oh my gosh! It's like I'm a toaster. Look at how they launch out of. <laughs> oh man, neighbor. Oh. I just want to make sure you feel real special here, Spider-Man neighbor. So I'm just making sure that you're getting all the nutrition that you need day to day. That's the only way you're going to be able to continue fighting crime the way that you do. Okay. All right. It's it's getting really, really bad. Uh, let's go outside. Oh, looks like some of the bread made it outside too. Amazing. Bananas in the bedroom, bread in the kitchen. What more could you ask for? Seriously, look at how happy he is. He just, he wants to hug us. He wants to thank us so badly. He can't resist himself. He's just standing there jumping, trying to reach me to show his gratitude. What a guy. What a nice guy. You're welcome, neighbor. No problem, buddy. Here, have some more bread. What do you say? I'm just gonna throw it in the neighborhood. And some bananas. There you go. Banana confetti, just for you. Oh, that would be awful. If your street was covered in bananas and bread, imagine if a car drives through that. Just get banana guts spread all over the street. It's gonna be terrible and it'll start to stink. Bad situation for everybody. But clearly the neighbor is very, very happy. But guys, I think that's gonna do it for this episode. My new neighbor, Spider-Man, is definitely very, very happy with the situation here. Look at him, he's jumping all over the bed. He's got all those bananas in his bed. It's a happy dude. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. And of course, if you'd like to see more, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on that little circle with my logo in it right below this window. You can also watch more of my videos by clicking on the sides of the screen. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.